Hi, I'm Lauren Bregester, and I'm going to talk about how you get your clips that are playing in your session view in Ableton Live into the arrangement view, which is the horizontal view that you're used to seeing in digital workstations. There are several different ways. Typically, I like to record them in there just from the session view, but I'll show you the different ways that you can get them in there. So this is an arrangement that I had in one of my previous videos. I have just uh, scene A, B, C, and D. So in order to get clips in there, I can do a couple different things. For starters, I can just click on it. And then while holding down my mouse, I hit tab and just drop it into that track. So that's one way of doing it. And now I, you know, I can do that with another track as well. I can grab this sound, drop it into the other track. Now you can drop them into any matching track. I can drag a MIDI clip into a MIDI track and vice versa. So kind of keep an eye out on making sure that you're dragging it into the same track that you had before. So you'll notice here that it's grayed out. And the reason it's grayed out means that it's playing in the session view or it's set up to be played from the session view. And in doing so, you can only have audio playing back from session view or the arrangement view, or any combination of both, but each track can only play back from one or the or the other. And so if it's grayed out in the arrangement view, that means that track one and two will only be playing back from the session view. In order to make sure that it's played back from the arrangement view, I can do you know one of two different things. The first most easy way to do it is to just click on this back to arrangement button, this orange button in the upper right hand corner of the timeline. I can click that and that grayed out, those grayed out clips are now able to be played because they're not grayed out anymore. Now, another way of doing it, and just to get back to how it was, I just launch something. Now, session view will always overwrite arrangement view. So if I just launch a scene in, a range, in the session view and hit tab to go back to my arrangement view, you can see that they're grayed out again. Another way to change that or to do it individually is this is just a single track back to arrangement. This, what looks like a triangle, it looks like a playhead. I, mean, I click on that, a play button. It, it switches that track just itself to playback from the arrangement view, whereas the second track will not. I can click on the back to arrangement view for that single track as well. But what I'm going to do, so that's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it is to take whole scenes. So I have this uh, scene here, A. If I just click and hold on scene A and hit tab, I can drag that scene. drag all those clips in there, make sure I'm lined up to the same clip that I started with and drop it in there and make sure I hit the back to arrangement but view button. And you can see both those tracks from that scene are there. If I do it with one of these longer scenes like scene D, which has varying lengths of clips, it can be a bit tricky because I hit tab. And it's just going to take all of those clips and sort of maintain their you know, the clip length when I copy them over. So if I want them to go a certain length, I can just, you know, go to the upper right hand part of that clip and just drag it over and then I'll drag that loop over. And I can lengthen it and shorten it if I need to. So I'll just keep looping those clips. So that's another way of doing it. But I tend to like take my arrangement that I have and record it into the arrangement view. So to do that, that's what that, this red record button here is in the top center of your screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up so it does a count off. And so I go to my upper left hand corner here and the metronome here, I can set up so it just uh, counts in two bars, um, keep everything else by default. So in two bars, I know it's recording. So I want to start with this scene A. So what I'm going to do is do scene A, B, C, and D for four bars each. So I need to manually record those in there. So I hit the, I, I hit stop to make sure I'm at the top of my arrangement where I can see the one, one, one here. And then I hit record. And so after it gives me a two bar count off, I'm gonna launch that scene or slightly before. Launching. And you can see it recording in real time there in my arrangement view. Watch that second scene. And you can see these being added, those tracks. Now my third scene. And finally, scene D. And 
And maybe now I want to go back to scene B. And back to scene D. And you can see it's recorded in the original view that way. Uh, that sounds good. I hit stop. And now if I hit the stop button again, it's going to send me back to the top. And if I hit play, you'll notice it's not going to be playing back from the arrangement again. It's going to be playing back from that last scene that I had just launched. It should just be drums and bass there, but I'm only hearing the session view. So again, that's why I need to hit that back to arrangement button, that orange button in the upper right hand corner. And now when I hit play, I hear what's exactly here. And you can make adjustments to this area here. Say I want this, you know, everything to cut off except for the for the guitar here. I'm just going to drag these uh, tambourines and this whistle here over. So now when I hit play, I could drag my uh, playback head here at bar 13 in the timeline. And you can further edit your song here in the arrangement view and leave the session view alone at this point. Um, when you look at it in session view, you'll see it playing back on the mixer here. And you can make adjustments to the, to the levels in the painting because it's the same mixer. The same mixer here as it is just condensed on the right hand side of the screen in the arrangement view. So that's how you record your, your clips from the session view into the arrangement view and getting them to play back correctly. Um, I tend to use the session view as a, a sketch pad, just creating arrangements for pieces of my song. And then once I have my sort of sketch laid out in, in sort of an arranged view, I record it into the arrangement view that way. So that's how I personally work. That's my personal workflow, but every has a, everybody has a different way of working in Ableton Live. So hopefully this helps and we'll carry on with more videos here shortly.